everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making another luxury soap. This one is going to be scented with um, a dupe of Love Spell. So I already have my life solution in and I'm just adding my cream. I realized I've never actually really soaked with this fragrance, but I use this fragrance a lot. I use it in lotions and um, sugar scrubs and it flies off the shelves. So I thought I should add a soap to go with it. see if I actually publish this but this is my beautiful soap I realized as soon as I picked this up and put it on my other table I turned back around to prepare for my next batch and then dawned on me I didn't put the fragrance in so sure that would make it a slow moving fragrance since you know there wasn't any fragrance so, there's the fragrance uh, I don't know what's going to happen here. This is not, I mean, I didn't have a plan for this, but I have more of a plan than this. Oh, now it smells good. I wonder why I wasn't smelling it. it just didn't dawn on me. I mean, holy Toledo. I'm really irritated with myself right now. just poured it all back into the bucket and now I'm going to try to salvage it and make it look decent. Yellow is out the window. This will no longer have yellow in it. I'll try to lighten this up with some white. I'll try to darken this with some purple. Maybe. And I'm going to darken this with some pink. But even really experienced soapers, which I've been soaping for years, for a few years now, um, actually this is the first time I have ever forgotten to put in my fragrance. Yeah, it is. I've almost forgotten. I've forgotten and have turned around and have added it to 
my colors right before I poured, but I have never forgotten to this extent before. You know, had it in the mold, and I was pretty happy with it, too. Oh, well, c'est la vie. Am I in the camera at all? It's just in the corner. There. So I added some white. It's not going to be white, but... And some ink. I hope you can see, but I'm working fast now. really dumb. Some of the best soaps are the biggest, are the ones that you thought were going to be the biggest flops, the accidents, right? So, and it's starting to thicken up, but I've, I've stick blended the crap out of this. Okay, so my pretty drop swirl is not going to happen. I think I'll spoon swirl this now. Oh, goodness. Probably should have waited to do this. Oh well. Now I'm just all, um, you know, out of sorts. It's just throwing me off here. Save the rest of that for the top. Now there's going to be a top. <laughs> My daughter's standing behind the camera laughing at me. She hasn't really said a whole lot. I saw the fragrance. I just thought it was for another batch. Yeah. I didn't even see it sitting up there. I put it in a different spot than I normally do, and I... I didn't see it. I didn't even look. So lesson learned, don't change locations of your stuff. Come on, soap. I know you want to come out of there. You look much better down here. There we go. And I'll save the rest of that for the top. Spoon it. This is not normally how I spoon swirl. This is not normally how I make soap. Whoa, did you see that? It came flying out of there. so quiet, people are going to think I'm talking to myself. Although I guess I kind of usually do when I do this, huh? It's so pretty. Yeah. Well, it smells good. Yeah. It's just... 
I was kind of excited to see how it was going to look with the yellow in there. And a little tiny bit of white. But, you know, the yellow and the white were kind of an afterthought, so maybe I should have just stuck with my initial plan and yes, maybe I would have remembered the fragrance. I don't know. All right. I debated, do I leave it and have an unscented soap? No. I have unscented soap. And I think unscented soap is boring. And my unscented soap is very boring. I have two versions, oatmeal, milk, and honey, that I leave natural that I use for my baby. And then I have a regular natural soap. I call it uh, my naked soap. <laughs> my daughter's blushing now. Um, but there's nothing in it. It's just a gentle, basic recipe. It's for my customers that have a lot of allergies. <clears throat> and grab a bar of it. Now let's swirl this. Anyway, I have unscented. I have boring. You have a pretty colorful soap like this, you want fragrance. Right? I mean, what's the point of doing the color if you're not going to have the smell? Yeah, this is my naked soap. I mean, it doesn't get any plainer than that. No video on that because it literally takes me five minutes to get that in a mold. And it's as boring as boring comes. Ten seconds. Oh, good timing. All right. Stay tuned for the cutting video. Oh. Okay. Here is Love Spell. Let's see oh, what we have here. I really wanted to cut this this morning, but I had farmer's market last night and a big festival today. I just haven't had a chance. So there's one end and the other. That's not too bad. I have some hope. another piece that looks pretty cool actually just not the colors that I had wanted but I am thankful that it didn't turn a muddy brown it smells really good can you girls see? yeah, yeah. it's really pretty yeah Well, that one's nice. I wanted it to be elegant. The scent, the fragrance, let me focus this a little better, is, you know, if, pretty elegant. And it's one of my best sellers in my body products. I can't remember if I mentioned that. Oh, I love that. can't remember if I mentioned that yesterday or not. In fact, at my festival today, I sold out of every single Love Spell item I had with me. I sold out of a ton of stuff today. Oh, very pretty. Okay, I'm happy with this. So again, this will be cured August 25th, 2014, and will be available at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.